Okay, let's start our silent night, holy night. Once again, friends and neighbors, to the Rumor Christmas Party from our home right into your home, wherever you might be listening. And you can tell the kids are having a real merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> I, bet th I bet you can hear this just about everywhere this morning. We're going to pass the micro uh, microphone around, folks, and just have ourselves a real wonderful time around the Rumor Flammy Christmas. Hey, kids, y'all all having a real good time, huh? are you? Yeah! Oh, and by the way, I don't know whether y'all got to hear that piano real good or not, That, but that was Mrs. Paul S. Morell. Sylvia, you sound so wonderful, Thank honey. Thank you, Joe, and Merry Christmas to everybody. And Merry Christmas to everybody. Something new has been added since our last Christmas program. We have a piano that Santa Claus brought us about three months ago, too. That's right. We're really having a grand time. And Sylvia, we're going to try to get you a little plainer on the piano. I think it came through, though, pretty good. That's right. We've got an awful lot to say to you, neighbors, on this Christmas morning, and we're going to do a lot of microphone passing around. The kids are going to shoot their cap pistols and have... We got, we've even got Curly Fagan here with his guitar. Good morning, Curly. Good morning, Joe. Never seen so many cap pistols. And cap pistols and, and folks and a good time. Santa Claus was good to everybody, oh, wasn't he? he sure Curly, was. Huh? And, looks of everything. And Curly, I'm glad you brought your guitar and you brought your little youngins along, too. Oh, I'm mighty happy to be here, too. And we're going to try to get to just as many as we can. Here's Dr. Worrell, too. Good morning, Doc. Good morning, Joe, and all you good friends up here. Sure nice seeing you. Dr. Paul S. Worrell, this is your fifth or sixth Christmas with us around the Rumor family Christmas that, tree, huh, That's Doc? right, Joe. About the sixth one, I think, and we sure having better and fun I, than ever. I think Doc wants to thank everybody out there for coming in and seeing him all during the that's year, That's right. Too. Thanks to everybody and a Merry Christmas to all of you. Good to have you with us, Doc. Well, we want to get Doc on sort of early because he said that he and Sylvia might want to leave before the program is over to go to church at 11 o'clock. So, Doc, we'll excuse you anytime you want to go, but stick around if you can. Now. Thank yeah. you, Joe. And look at the kids right out. Let's find out from the kids here. Hello there, Frankie and Madonia. What did Santa Claus bring you, darling? He's going to bring me a Davy Crockett suit. You got you a Davy Crockett suit, huh, darling? Uh -huh. Good. And how about you, Nina? Doll. You got a Jenny doll. I bet it's a beauty, too, isn't it, darling, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. And here is little Sammy Rumor, too. Sammy, you were with us last year, too, weren't you, darling? Yes. And what did Santa Claus bring you, darling? He brought me a record player. A record player. Now you can play you all the records you want anytime you want. That, that is when Uncle Joe's not on the radio, huh, Sammy? Uh-huh. Oh, you betcha. And, and you can tell, and, and looky here. Oh, my goodness alive. Don't sound I'm so trying good to figure nursing. out what that tune is, Ann. I can't quite figure it out. Jingle bells. You kids want to sing jingle bells after a while, maybe? Yeah. All right. But not right now, now. In, in just a little bit. Hi there, Mimi. Hi. How are you feeling, honey? Feel fine. And I want to wish everybody a merry Christmas. A merry Christmas. I bet you maybe Mama's home over, over at the house listening this she morning sure too, is. huh, Mimi? She sure you is. betcha. And Josie says is too. Hi, hey, Joe. Joe. I wish you about a Merry Christmas, my Mom and Dad and Uncle Charlie. I bet they're home a little. They sure are, Joe. I wonder if they're having as much fun as we are, huh, Joe? Oh, I don't know about that. Where's that good-looking husband of yours, Vincent? He's kind of hiding out around there, isn't he? He sure huh? is. Vincent, stick your nose near long enough to say hello. Merry Christmas, Joe. Hey, everybody, we got hi, Aunt Elizabeth. Hey, Joe. You thought you was going to hide in here, too, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uncle Joe's back there, and Jerry, and Cece's got the little baby in Merry her arms, Merry Christmas, too. Joe. This is my sister-in-law, Cece, Angie's sister, too, huh? Yeah. Now then, oh, we got more folks around here. Let's us, Vincent, you want the door shut again? Oh, we got plenty here. <laughs> Hi, Angie, are you having trouble over here, honey? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having a lot of fun with all the we kids around are. my Christmas tree, huh, Angie? We sure are. We want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and thank them for those 52,000 beautiful Christmas cards that we got. They are beautiful. 
and especially well, thank everybody. Delta Photo Service and Lewis and Charlene Collins and the folks for doing such a wonderful job getting them up for us, too. We sure did. We certainly do appreciate it. Betcha. This is more than I've got Angie to say on this microphone since Merry last Christmas. Christmas to everybody. To everybody. Look at she done run away from the microphone now. Well, you, will you look who just walked in the door? Look like old Santa Claus himself. Good morning, Al. Hi, Joe. How you feeling, Alan boy? Vaughn, that nobody but nobody, that Bob nobody Arnold but Ford. Nobody, Ford. that's me, Joe. Al, is Santa Claus good to you? Oh, right? he was wonderful. He sure was to Al Jr. and Judy and Margaret and myself. Oh. We're just so happy, and it's. I'll tell you something else. To really top it off is to be here at this party this morning. Thank you, it's Al. Aren't great. we having a lot of oh, fun? Oh, wonderful huh? time, Joe. It's about we the sure nicest are. Christmas, Al, I think that we or anybody else has ever had. To it all sure of is, life. Joe, and I just hope that everyone is enjoying themselves as much as we are, <laughs> and may they have a, a great New Year, Joe. I hope they do. And, Al, isn't it a wonderful old that in a country as wonderful as ours, we can have peace and prosperity all at the same time. That's what makes it a, even a more wonderful Christmas. We sure can, Joe. When we say it's peace and, and prosperity, we mean happiness and a good time, you know, and that's what we We're all... We're certainly having we ourselves. Sure we too, certainly do, Joe. You bet, y'all. By the way, I think uh, Emil is trying to come over, but I believe he said he wanted to, to go to church about 11 o'clock, so he might not be able to make it, and I think you want to scoot out, too, before the party's over. Sure have, Joe. I've got to scoot out here. We've got to pick Al Jr. and Judy up, and we got to go to church this morning, too. And uh, I hope Emil can make it over, but uh, he wasn't feeling too well yesterday uh -huh. when, we, when we closed shop out there. He... Said, I'm going in, turn it in. When you say close shop, we're talking about Bob Arnold that's Ford. Right, we want everybody right. to know sure it. Sure it is, Joe. Oh, wonderful. And I want to say again, it's wonderful to be here, and it's nice to see everyone having such a wonderful time, and we're just as happy. And we want to say a Merry Christmas to everyone. To everybody. And a Happy New Year, Joe. God bless you, Alan. Thank Thanks, you, Bob. Merry Christmas to everybody. Bye. Now, don't you hurry off now until you have Oh, we're going to be around a little while. Thank Let's you. us. Oh, here's Brother Duke over here. Hey, Duke, Joe. you made Merry it Christmas over to Day. Merry Christmas to you. We sure did. So it's real wonderful to be back again this year, like it is every year. And I want to I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and thank them for all the Christmas cards they sent us. Too. You bet you, Duke, and all, all all of your real fine listeners over on your programs who are right. listening here right. to us this morning. Not only uh, here in Alabama, but Tennessee, Georgia, and Mississippi, and down in Florida, because we've got two fifty thousand watts hooking up this right. morning. WBAM right. Montgomery and WVOK Brian. Right. We're real proud that you invited us over, like everybody else. The kids having a wonderful have time. Wonderful. We Duke, we're gonna have to find out if the kids gonna do some more singing for us. I believe they will. Hey, by the way, Duke, you know them. Mrs. Benz. And Papa Benz wanted to come over, but uh -huh. uh, Mrs. Benz, I think she said she had to go up to Georgia. I believe that's where but it was. Listening so in. Uh, she's listening on the, on the end of this party line right Merry now. Merry Christmas, Miss Benz. You bet. <laughs> Merry Christmas to everybody, too. See, listen, let's just kind of scoot in here, Duke, right, real quick, and see if, 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 if the kids. By cracky, that, that time show is going by in a real big hurry. By the way, I wonder if oh, maybe. Hey, Polly, darling. Uncle Joe? Yes, darling. I heard you with your horn. Play us a tune on a horn. But this is Duke's little boy, Paul. Does that sound like the freight train buggy, doesn't it? <laughs> <Yeah. Duke? laughs> <That's Paul>. Wonderful, <laughs> Polly. And, uh, and, and there, there's little Frankie. Hi there, Nikki. How are you, darling? Uh -huh. Santa Claus good to you, too, wasn't he, darling? Yes. Santa Claus is good to all good. Yes, and uh, yeah, Sam No Toe, you didn't think I forgot good him. Morning, now, Joe. Joe. How you doing, fella? Fine. You made it and over, too, didn't you? Christmas Get that sweet morning. wife, Catherine, yeah. over. Come on over here, Catherine. How you feel this morning, Fine, honey? Joe, how are you? Sam did get you over too, he didn't you? Sure huh? did. Y'all don't look like y'all got too much sleep last night. I can Not much. <laughs> Wonderful, cat. We do want to wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas. We sure too, do. Merry Christmas to everybody. To everybody, and God bless you, honey. Sam. Same thing. Joe. I bet you maybe Father Riera might be listening. You know, he left out of town about five o'clock this morning. He's heading way down to Pensacola, Florida, in his little Bob Arnold Ford, and I bet you he's a listening to us right now. I know he is, Joe. Let's wish him a happy, happy. birthday. Uh, Merry, a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I, I don't Merry think he's having a birthday, not too, today. is he? No. Merry Christmas, Bob, <laughs> and Happy New Year. Right, oh, Sam. And yeah. by the way, Sam, uh, not only uh, the folks on the highway, but we got a lot of truck drivers, you know, having to work today, too. I know there's some trucks on the highway. want to wish everybody riding along the highway and at home just a merry, merry, merry Be Christmas. Be careful. Be, be careful. Extra too. careful. So you can be right. around after the extra first of the year. The, the next Sam, Christmas. it's good to have you back around, too, son. It was, it was nice yeah. talking to you long distance on our little car telephone about two weeks ago from Phoenix, Arizona. 1,800 miles apart. 1,800. Yeah. Sounded good, too, didn't it, boy? Say, kids, would, would, would y'all like to do a little bit of Jingle Bells? And I'm going to pass this microphone around to somebody real special here in a minute. Would y'all like to do Jingle Bells with us? Yeah! Well, where is old Curly Fagan at and his oh, guitar? Man, Come on in. Look at that mugger in there. He's in there drinking all our eggnog mix up. Curly, what are we going to do with you, huh? Jingle Bells. You getting this fat? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he's out there strutting his pretty new 56 Bob Arnold Ford station wagon. I saw him out there. Duke, I bet you Mr. V.S. Patterson, that wonderful family, is listening up at Fayette, Alabama. I know they are, Joe. We were talking to Mr. Pat last week, and he said he'd be with us this morning. Oh, he is on the party line. And this little session, of course, is sponsored by Mr. Pat. You wouldn't know if right he says, Joe, don't you talk about no Golden Eagle sopping syrup this morning. Just talk about everybody else, too. Joe, let me talk for just one second about it. I had Golden Eagle for breakfast this morning. That's what made it complete. How do you like that? It that? sure is, Joe. Really? Enjoy it. Good on them pancakes. It sure is, man. That butter and those pancakes, I'll tell you, it's delicious. Alabama. It sure is. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> he shows it, too, doesn't he? That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Curly, would you like to give the kids a little card and let all the boys and girls around the Christmas... We, we haven't introduced all the kids yet. Sing a little bit of jingle. Sylvia, you want to play a little bit on, on the piano too, honey? All right. All right, let's all of it. Sing it together now, kids. Good and loud now. Jingle bells, jingle bells. You ready? Let's go. Let's jingle. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Cracky, the kids are in good voice this morning, aren't Boy, they, Duke? I'm telling you, that's how wonderful, too. And look, Everybody and look at Curly Fagan's little doll already. So, Curly, yeah. this is Jeannie, isn't it? That's huh? Jeannie. She, she is such a little fresh, tiny dude. mite. I don't think she's going to talk much, Duke. She, she lets she lets that good-looking daddy of hers right. do all the talking. <laughs> she is a little sweet. Now, here's Brenda. Hey, darling. Hi. How you feel, Brenda? They feel fine, Feeling Joe. fine? Feel fine. Good, darling. This is Curly's older little daughter. How old are you, Brenda, darling? Hey. Three years. She talks up too, Curly. Yeah, you can tell I that. And of course, little little Clark Jr. He's a little bitty booger back there. He's not gonna do no talking yet. Is he? he? All he can do is beat on the wall, and make racket. He makes racket just like I do. All. Yeah. Hey, by the way, whose jingle bells did I get a while ago? That's yours, Frankie. Hey, Uncle Joe, where are you at over here? How you buddy, feeling? How you feel? I'm just oh, having a lovely time, buddy. And Merry Christmas to you too, son. To everybody out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Uncle Joe, I bet you maybe Mr. Haley might be listening out I hope he morning. is. Let's wish him a Merry Absolutely. Christmas too. Absolutely. Look, I want you to talk to Ted right here, buddy. Ted says this. Hi, Merry Christmas, Ted. Joe. Merry Christmas. It's a fine Christmas party, it's isn't it? It's a beautiful morning. Oh, it's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful Christmas for everybody, too. That's for sure, Joe. You bet it is. And, Ted, it's nice to have you back over. It's a pleasure to be here, Joe. This boy is a mighty sick boy about six months ago. He's afraid he wasn't going to be here with us this Christmas, but he's here, too. Well, oh. thank the man above, Joe. I'm still here. You bet you. Merry friend. Christmas to everybody. To everybody. Ted, you yes, way, Joe, Joe, have you talked to little Al Vaughn over there yet? Have I talked to little Al Vaughn? Little Al Vaughn We sure there. have talked to him, aren't you? Lost and under the Christmas tree, doesn't it? <laughs> I think, you know, you hey there, the Manuel. Man. Here is Manuel the fish man, too, here on Christmas morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Manuel. How you feel? Fine, oh, very fine. Now. now, here's a sleepyhead. What time did you get to bed this morning, by the way, Manuel, huh? By, by 1.30, 2 well, o'clock. Well, you didn't do too bad now, then, did you, huh? Well, I had opened up a Christmas <laughs> present, Joe. Uh, I got me a present from the record rack. Good, good, good. A real good record. I've been wanting it a long time. The, what the, what record is it, man? Yeah, I'm almost... Y yes, uh, honey. Rose is here from the record rack, and she's... Got Rose, no toys. Come here, Rosie. You, thank you, you booger. Now. Hey, honey, how you Just feel? Just fine. Wonderful. <laughs> I, I sure want to thank you and Betty for the wonderful job y'all have down, done down the record rack. Yeah, we want to thank everyone for coming down and wish all of them a Merry Christmas from Rose and Betty. Thousands and thousands of real yeah. wonderful folks, huh, Betty? see us all during the year. You betcha. All during 1950 <laughs> and 60. Merry Christmas to you, Rosie. Thank you, Joe. You betcha. Now then, I want to... Uh, where, where's my dad at again, huh? Well, where did Papa go to he back there? Oh, by cracky. I think he's out there playing with the choo-choo train right now. Hello, Joe Fiore, hey, Joe, Jr. Fine, Joe. And how you feeling this morning? Oh, I'm fine, Joe. I'd like to you have a real nice Christmas, too, huh? Yeah, Joe, we had a fine wonderful, Christmas. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful one. Let's wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas, too, huh? Okay, Joe, merry Christmas, everybody. To everybody. Now, Daddy, I want you and Mama. Oh, we hadn't forgot that sweet gal, Duke. Don't you worry about that. We had... 
Daddy, how about you and, and, and Mama come over here because okay. this here Christmas party around our Rumor family Christmas tree, Mom and Papa, never would be complete without the sweetest mom and the sweetest dad in the whole wide world. And Merry Christmas to you, Mother. Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas, friends and neighbors, and to you sick and shut-ins, wherever you are. God bless you and have faith and hope. Happy birthday, Mrs. C.E. Cooper. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all. You never forget Mrs. Cooper either, do you, yes, Mom? Right, because knows. Christmas Day is her birthday also, sure. too. And, Mom, I know you do want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Everybody has been so nice to your two fellas, Duke and also myself, too, because yeah. they've been real wonderful to us all year, Mother. Merry Christmas, everybody. Everybody. She's kind of shy. She don't have much to say. She leaves that up to Daddy to always do the talking. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Well, that is when Daddy gets the word in edgewise every now and then. That's right, Joe. Daddy, are you and the chickens and the goats doing pretty good that on the done, farm this morning? That, that done fine, Joe. That. <laughs> Santa Claus come to see the goats and the chickens this it morning. sure did. They did early this morning, about 5 o'clock. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, you bet. Red hat, boy. Red hat. <laughs> Daddy, let's wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Huh? Well, well, Joe, it's mighty nice to be here, and I'm glad that everybody enjoying. Uh, and all of that you like to say, wish... Everybody, um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We all hope we'll be living and be right back here again hope next be, Christmas morning. We'll be it again uh, next year by this time. Oh, that's you, right. You. Thank you, you Dad. Right the time, sweetest though. dad in the whole wide world. We'll go on that, won't we, do? Yes, sir. Can't you beat them both. Now then, I'd like for you to meet my real sweet sister-in-law. This is one of my seven sisters-in-laws, I mean. Seven or eight, Angie? Eight. 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 Well, now, Josie's in New Orleans now, so she can't meet him. nine, so he just got his sister. Yeah, that's right, eight. That's right, okay. Here we go now, a nice family argument about the sisters. You want to say Merry Christmas to Mama and Papa? We They'll certainly do. They'll be over, in just, be over in just a little bit for, for dinner. We're going to be having dinner on the table. The turkey is in the oven right now. I wish we had smell-o-vision, folks, or, or, or you sure would smell it right now here. Oh, you never heard of smell-o-vision, Sally? Well, you, well, that's all right. You just stick around a little bit. And Come Sarah, on. it's wonderful too, isn't it? Yes, I mean it is. You know, we'd I'm... like we'd like to get that good-looking husband Julie of yours on here, but he is downstairs playing with the choo-choo train, and we can't get him up here no, right now. He's, he's sticking with the children. <laughs> so real I wonderful want... Christmas too, it isn't it, sure Sarah? Sure is, and I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we mean to everybody. I too. mean everybody. From, from the room or home right into your home, wherever you folks might be listening. That's right. Oh, you betcha. You and betcha. Uh, Mr. Miss Tucker, that I my neighbors uh -huh. was, uh -huh. I want to wish them a Merry Christmas and Merry I bet they're listening, Day. Sarah. I they bet are, you are. I bet they are, too. Well, well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Yes, yeah. I, I, I know that you and Angie is, is going to want to get on there in a few minutes and finish that turkey and all in that. Oh, listen, he thinks he's going to get away. I got him to just say Merry Christmas while ago once, but that bugger is not going to get away. Vincent, you can't get away this morning without saying Merry Christmas <laughs> to everybody. Said Merry I know you said it, though, but you said it so quick, I don't think they heard it, though. <laughs> Vincent Saces of the Saces, brothers, too. And, Vincent, it's good to have you back for Christmas. You know, we was a little afraid there, there for just a little while, you know, that y'all were going to be working out in Phoenix. You wouldn't get back in time, yeah, but you made, made it. though, Joe, that's for sure. <laughs> Heading off for of New York, I think, yeah, now next Wednesday. Wednesday morning, Wednesday yeah. Morning. Be back Friday for New Year's. Well, that won't be too bad. Oh, no, it won't be bad. No, no. very good. Christmas Merry Christmas to you, Joe. Hey, where's my sister-in-law, D. Dad? Jerry, we hadn't had you on it yet, have we, huh? Oh, Joe. Hey, everybody, Merry Christmas, huh? Uh, all, all the kids over at school listening to this. Yeah, morning. everybody at John Carroll, hope they have a Merry Christmas. We saw you, Joe. Taking it easy this morning. I sure right? hope. So. Here she comes. Here she Hello, Dee Dee. How you feel, honey? Fine. Isn't this a wonderful Christmas party, oh, huh? Oh, yes, enjoying it very much. Dee, did you ever see the kids have so much fun in all I your know life, it. huh? Santa Claus was good to all of the youngest. By the way, Dee Dee, what uh -huh. did Santa Claus bring you, honey? That's what I want to know. Oh, huh? let me see. Oh, nothing too much. No, yeah. My health. No, th that's the most important thing, isn't it, Dee Dee? Yeah, the most boy. Important. Santa Claus has been good to us all during the year. Yes, that, sir. You, you betcha. And this good-looking boy, Sammy, yo, he's hugging Mama real yeah. tight. You love Mommy, too, don't you, darling? Yes. You betcha, Sammy. By the way, Sammy was kind of taking that lead while ago when we was doing Jingle Bell. Jingle yes, and he you can know? sing. I wish you could let him sing a song by his Well, I tell you, Sammy, honey, you come on in here by the piano. And uh, M Mrs. Warrell, Kitty, how you feel, darling? I just Merry come whizzing right. Merry Christmas, run. everybody. This is Kitty LaSouza, too. And I know you want to play, say a Merry Christmas to for everybody. all the kids at Montevallo, too. Yeah, then they're at home, the ones that... 
I'm graduated in my class of 55. You betcha. Yay, yeah, Alabama <laughs> College. Yes. <laughs> wonderful kitty. Merry Christmas to you. To you darling. too, Jack. this wonderful. Oh, we're having so much fun. I, I just I wish can't everybody wait to get in to that turkey, though. Man, you, you, you smell it in there. Just, oh, oh it's boy, it smells so good. Oh, I'm so hungry. Uh, I am too. It, it, it won't be long, honey. It won't be. But we still got about 10 more minutes on the air, so we got a lot of time yet. Yes. Then, then we'll have the rest of the. Hey, but by the way, yes, kitty, excuse me, oh, honey. I'd like to wish Mom and Papa a very Merry Christmas. Well, they're on, on the way over no, right now. Then yeah. I, I think they were supposed to get out of church about 9 30 or 10, so yeah. they ought to be over here right now. I bet they're listening yeah, all yeah, I know that. Right. Hey, by the way, Sammy. Uh, where, where did Sammy go to, he's huh? By oh, he's going to sing all by himself? That's right. All right, then. Let's us listen here to a little... Uh, Sammy, I think you sang a solo last year, too, didn't you, honey? <laughs> but what's the matter, Sammy? Is, isn't Sylvia a good enough accompanist for you? That's what I want to know now, yes. huh? Yes, yes, sir. Sylvia, what's the matter? Couldn't you get together with him here on the piano? I'm afraid that's it. Is that it? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, let's let Sammy start, and then you'll try to weed in if it works out. You want to try All it that right. way? Well, we'll strike a chord and see if that's the right tone for it. All right. Sammy, what you going to sing, darling? Come on, we faithful. Oh, Adesti Fidelis, huh, darling? You go ahead and sing it all by yourself, darling. Come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Oh, that's beautiful. Sylvia, he didn't need you, honey. Oh, he, he didn't really need didn't. you that time, did he? See, you got gypped out of a piano solo, Isn't didn't you? Isn't that Phil? awful? Say, so, Sylvia, I bet all the nice folks over at Hillcrest Home are listening this morning. They I bet are. they're on the party They're line. right on that radio listening hard. Let's wish them a merry, merry Christmas. We'll sure do that. Hey, Sammy, darling, where'd you go? Honey, you sounded so sweet and precious <laughs> then. Latin. He, he can sing. Well, no, no. Now, let's don't let him sing it in Latin. Now, I don't think anybody else would understand it. Nobody but Father Riera going down to Pensacola right That's now. right. <laughs> Say, hey, Margaret, I didn't come to you until almost near the end of the program because I knew as long as you stuck around, I would have to stick around. See? That's right, Joe. This is Al Vaughn's very, very beautiful wife, Margaret Vaughn. Right, Al, huh? That's right, Joe. She's kind of happy this morning, She's you know. very happy. Uh, by the way, Merry Christmas, Joe. Was, was Santa Claus real good to you, honey? Kind of special this year. What Was you real good to her, Santa Claus? I'll tell you what. One of the finest days <laughs> she said she'd had, Joe. We're, we're awful happy, too. And, and, of course, Margaret, the nicest thing is that you've got two beautiful children of your own, little Judy and Al Jr. You got your health and your family and you love each other. And also uh, Alan Sr. You bet. That's the most important part, too. Uh, Merry honey. Christmas to all of you, Joe. To everybody. I'm so glad you got the chance to come over to Margaret. Thank you, Joe. You bet. Joe, yes, let's Al. say a special Merry Christmas this morning for my great mother-in-law, Mrs. Lady D. Boyne, who's in Aberdeen, Mississippi. I'll and I bet you she's yeah, mother. She's, she's listening. That's Speedy Boyne's mother. And Margaret, you know, Speedy and Margaret are brothers and sisters. In, in Aberdeen, Mississippi. She's one of my faithful listeners on this. Right, Joe. Yeah, you know, she that's right, Speedy and Aileen. They over there. Aren't sure, they? they're in your mama. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to your mama, boy. And I know right, Joe. Listening. Back to business. Merry Christmas to everybody. Say, now, we don't want to leave anybody out here. Now, there, there are still some of the kids I know we hadn't got. For instance, Cookie, we hadn't talked to you, have we, darling, huh? Cook, talk, Cookie. Cookie, what did Santa Claus bring you, darling? Uh, a little tiny tear doll. It's just what you wanted to, wasn't it, baby, huh? Oh, wonderful. And Bubba, I don't think we've talked to you either, have we, huh? No. What did Santa Claus bring you? Well, he brought me a holster set and guns and a wagon and a bicycle. Well, you got, you just got just about everything then, didn't you, honey? Yeah. That's because you've been a real good boy too, huh, darling? And here's my little Donna Jo. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Was Santa Claus real good to you, darling, huh? Brought you, brought you everything you wanted, wasn't it, baby? And, and, and of course, Donna Jo had her birthday just day before yesterday, and had a real big birthday party, too, didn't you, darling? Let's, let's say Merry Christmas to everybody, Donna. Merry Christmas. Say Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, you betcha. Well, where's little Frankie at? Come here, Frankie. Hi, darling. How you feel? Uh, this is my little Frankie, too, and you having a real nice Christmas party, too, this morning, yes, darling. Wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. That's my big six-and-a-half-year-old boy. Nina, we hadn't talked to you either, have we, baby? Mm -hmm. Santa Claus real good to you, darling. Mm -hmm. Real good. Well, what did Santa Claus bring you, baby? A jelly doll. 
I, I think we talked to you about 20 minutes ago, I believe. I remember what Santa Claus brought her, dude. Oh, oh you everybody. Betcha. Yes, Angie. Remember the McNeils are going to see her mother. Yes, uh, our nice neighbors, Mr. and Mrs. George McNeil, who've been with us for the last five Christmases. And, and we looked outside and we were hoping they were coming over, but they told Angie yesterday afternoon about 5 o'clock, says, Joe and Angie, I wish we could, con could come over in the morning, but we're going to leave out about 7 o'clock in the morning to go to Columbiana to see Mom and Daddy, Mr. and Miss Turner. So I, I bet you maybe, Angie, they're listening and driving down right they now. They probably are. We wish them a Merry Christmas. A Merry, Merry Christmas, too. You bet you. Oh, I don't know. what. Well, yes, dude. Wouldn't it just be real wonderful if everybody all year long could feel just like everybody feels during the Christmas holiday? Wouldn't it, Duke? It, 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 so nice. it, it would be a world that we just love to live in a lot more. We love it now, but it'd just... In other words, Duke, when everybody gets that Christmas spirit, you know, when you get to fight in those crowds like last Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and all the stores now. That's right. When you get to thinking about each other, that's what's nice. That's the most important thing. In other words, when you have love for each other and understanding, that's right what really counts. Right on, right on. We're having a wonderful time. We're having a grand time. Sylvia, what in the world are you and Curly Fagan doing over here, huh? We're having a jam session. Come on, let's just sing a little bit. That's all I was saying. Santa Claus is coming to town. Everybody join now. He knew it when you were growing. He said when you are weak. He knows if you've been good or good. So be good, good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. That's a lot of fun now. <laughs> and here's my little baby, Philip. Hey, darling, you want Daddy to hold you, baby? Uh-huh. Oh, let, let Daddy pick him up. I'd give anything in the world if he would sing Silent Night, Holy Night. Sing Silent Night. You want to sing Silent Night, Holy Night, darling? Don't you sing. He's, you want me to hold he him? He sings. Uh, Aunt Sarah, you hold him. Right. And let's see. So we'll we'll kind of coax him along and get him started. Maybe he All might. Right. Philip, you want to, darling? Come on, Silent sing, you. Silent Night. Oh, pretty brown eyes just looking, but he's not going to say a word. Huh? He's looking at everybody else. Right, right, young virgin mother and child. He's looking, but I'm afraid he's not going to sing either. Folks, while everybody sings in the background, real soft and sweet, I just kind of look at my wristwatch, and Duke, if your wristwatch says the same as mine, we got just about one more minute for airtime. Joe, it's been a wonderful morning. So nice to be with you and with the whole family and everyone around with us. I, I, I just wish we had another hour and a half like we did last Christmas. Just passed so quick. But we certainly do want to thank Golden Eagle Honey Flavored Table Syrup. We want to thank Mr. V.S. Patterson, radio station WBAM, WVOK, and most of all, all 16 million of the wonderful folks tuned to us on this nice Christmas morning. Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas, everybody! God bless you, friends and neighbors, and it's been so nice visiting from our home into your home by remote control for the past 30 minutes. Yours truly, Joe Rimo, helps you. Hope you all have a very merry, merry, merry Christmas. It's been real wonderful being with you. Have a nice day all day today, neighbors. And don't forget, folks, church and Sunday school somewhere today because this is the Lord's birthday. God bless you. Have a nice day. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 on Roundup Time for Golden Eagle Table Star. Bye-bye, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. And now, friends and neighbors, we return you back to the studio. This is the voice of Dixie. Holy night. Holy night.